So the Whitbread Gold Cup next then, one of the biggest races from years ago. Uh, it's three miles and five furlongs, a grade three handicap, top one maximum impact, Joshua Sutherland. Kisses of Fire, Darren Thompson, Bishop Brennan, Kevin Meenahan, Eves Delight for Graham Clutterbuck, Hollander, Stu Gray, Proud Tarquin, Kevin Meenahan, Ashton James Fullis, Not For The Money, Carl Aragante, Lord Babushka, Martin Leader, Mighty Son, Alex Cherry, Half Pipe, Stu Gray, Lady Sphinx, Darren Howes, Venture De Cognac, Martin Leadham, High Figurine, Obi Wan, Outlaw Torn is Obi Wan as well. According to the boss, is Darren Howells, and fifth marriage is Alex Cherry. 17 of them then in the Whitbread. Not sure what it's called these days, but it'll always be the Whitbread to me. And away they go. Half pipe on the inside, the grey. I'm surprised to see a 17 runner field over the jumps with only one grey, but they're all safely over the first. Towards the straight, and these are the two fences in the straight. And Outlaw Torn has now gone on into the lead. In real life, this fence is splitting. Oh, it is now. We're using the proper sand down track now, where it's a ditch. And there's a mighty sons of four there. We, it's a ditch when it's not the last fence. When it's the last fence, it's a plain fence. Watch in front of the stand. So it's Outlaw Torn that leads by about five or six lengths. So you maximum impact in second. We get a close-up shot of them. And Ashton and Proud Tarquin. Half pipe the greys in fifth. And we've got a couple of Darren Howells horses together. According to the boss and ladies thinks. With fifth marriage on the outside. Then Lord Babushka in the purple. Hollanders after that. Venture to Cognac. Real Venture to Cognac. Will probably have run in this race many years ago. Uh, probably the real Proud Tarquin might have done as well. It's Outlaw Torn, who's well clear of Ashton in second. Maximum impact third and half pot fourth. That's a huge looking fence, and the lead has gone. Outlaw Torn is a faller, and the fence looks absolutely enormous. And Ashton is second. And this interesting back straight on this track, sand down. You get a double, as double likes to call it, a water jump and a ditch. To this one, which I think is the water next, and Ashton is the leader. We're on maximum impact in second. It's a plain fence, first of all, then it's the water. And we've lost another one there. Out, uh, Eve's Delight's gone, so we've lost three now. I know there's a double, I don't know where the water jump's gone. The water jump disappeared, or is the water jump coming up next? I'm just totally losing my memory these days. That's what Doug calls the double, and um, here's the ditch all over that one and the water jump may have disappeared they're going to come down towards the railway fences soon and there's the water so the water's at the after that oh, I thought the water was a little bit earlier but anyway never mind it's waffling again Ashton's in the lead Lord Babushka's second as they come down towards the railway fences and these take some jumping they come very close three fences one after the other and Ashton skipped over it in the lead there's the second one Lord Babushka's in second and there's the third one over that one okay with venture to cognac making a bit of a mistake at the back and they're going to swing right-handed now and what is always known as the pond fence i guess it's right by a pond surprisingly enough there it is in the distance although for some reason the pond doesn't appear to be showing and it's actually got the pond fence written in front of it in real life as they jump the third last next time round or time after and that's the pond fence and Ashton's the leader from Lord Babushka who's now gone up on the outside. Lord Babushka's gone to take it up. So I would say there's a definite lack of front runners in this race than if Lord Babushka is in the lead because that is not a known front running horse. And he's in the lead from Ashton in second. And High Figure in his third, then Lady Sphinx. They're back up the straight again now. And over that one, another mistake by Venture to Cognac. This next fence now is the fence that's split in two. And they should jump the ditch side of it. Not from the plain side of it. And they are going so to do. And over it they go. And there's another fall there. Something else has gone. Kisses of fire has gone this time then. So come down then now towards the winning post. The complete circuit of the Sandown Park track to go in the 
Final SO6 with Red Gold Cup and Lord Babushka is the leader from Ashton in second. Maximum Impact is three. Lady Sphinx is four and High Figurine is five. Bishop Brennan is six and Hollander is seven and then Proud Tark with eight and then Half Pipe after that one. And then Not For The Money and According To The Boss, fifth marriage and finally Venture To Cognac. Who is being pulled up? Venture To Cognac is calling it a day. Made a few mistakes. Not been happy out there today, Venture To Cognac. And that one will depart the race then. We've lost five of the 17. We've got a dozen left. As they come back down this back stretch again. And Lord Babushka is the leader coming to this one that took the leader out last time. And he's taken somebody else out now. Bishop Brennan's got an outlaw torn. Had already been gone before, of course, but it seems to be. I don't know if anything else went as well, but more than one have gone there, but <laughs> it didn't. It's just my eyes. And Ashton's the leader as they come down to Doug's Double, which is what I'm going to call this from now on. Ashton's the leader from Lord Babushka and Maximum Impact. And Hollander on the outside, half pipe and high figurine. Proud Tarquin, Lady Sphinx after that one as they skip over the first of the two in the double. And over that one they go, Lord Babushka's dropping back through the pack. And Maximum Impact has taken it up come down to the ditch and maximum impact from Hollander over that one they go three just struggling a little bit towards the back a fifth marriage according to the boss and not for the money there's the water jump and they skip over that one with maximum impact in the lead and down towards the railways then with just six more fences to take and maximum impact on the inside takes it well with the first one mistake towards the back there from Darren Houses according to the boss they're all safely over the railways and it's maximum impact in the lead from half pipe in second then comes Holland of third Ashton is fourth then Proud Tarquin Lord Babushka's after that one then Lady Sphinx and High Figurine in fifth marriage and then not for the money and finally according to the boss Bishop Brennan was one that disappeared some time ago well, it's maximum impact in the lead then. Lord Babushka's now come right through over that pond and Lord Babushka made a mistake just as he was trying to put in a challenge. And maximum impact, the top weight then, is in the lead from Hollander and Lord Babushka. Then comes High Figurine and Ashton's after that one. Lady Sphinx is still there. Fifth marriage is trying to get to it. Proud Tarquin come with a run on the outside, but maximum impact. He's got the class, but he's got a lot of weight. They come down towards the final two fences in the whip bread there. Maximum impact gets over it. Lord Babushka is over it in second. Then Hollander and Ashton and Lady Sphinx. It's maximum impact. Lord Babushka and Hollander. They've only got one more fence to take. Then they'll take the plain side of it this time. And it's maximum impact from Lord Babushka. Lord Babushka on the outside starts to get into the lead. Over it goes Lord Babushka. Maximum impact jumps it. Bell's a faller there. Hollander's gone. Lord Babushka gets back into the lead again. And it's Lord Babushka up that sand down here with half a fern on to go. And Lord Babushka is pulling away. And Lord Babushka is going to take the Whitbread Gold Cup. And I don't mind saying that that is my best ever win at SO6 League. I'll quit now. Never come back to win one of my favourite races with a horse that I actually put in the league to win it. Lord Babushka takes the Whitbread for Martin Lee to maximum impact for Joshua Sutherland is second. Ashton for James Follis is third. Then came uh, high figurine was fifth for Obi One. I've missed out the fourth there because the card went down a little bit too quick. Fifth marriage for Alex Cherry. So there it is then. That's the whip bread, and that's me caught up. Thank you very much.